Hey, what's going on, everybody? Movie Phantom here, and guess what? It's Tuesday. Time for a top three. Now, last week, I asked the question, what are your top three uh, horror director debuts? And got some responses. Let's hit them up right now. Uh, Alex Murphy said uh, at number three, and I, I, I'm going to butcher this name right here, uh, Frank Hinnenlauter? Guy did Basket Case, and he was referring to Basket Case, uh, which classic. Uh, number two, Fred Fogel, August Underground, and number one, Stuart Gordon, The Reanimator. So, all good stuff right there. Ghostface Kid 101 said at number three, Rob Zombie for House of a Thousand Corpses. Number two, and I probably should look it up. I didn't think to look it up, but uh, said uh, Adam Green for Hatchet, but he said he wasn't quite 100% uh, if that was his first film or not. I want to say it was, but uh, I should have, I'm sorry, sorry, I should have looked it up. Uh, still. And uh, number one, Robert Hall for Late the Rest, so, hell yeah. Which, thank you again, because literally, I think you were the one that kind of got me into that movie too, actually. Aside from, you know, The Collector as well, so. Uh, Sarah Tullin said, uh, at number three, uh, Christopher Smith for Creep. I still need to see that. That's on my to check out list. Uh, two. Toby Hooper, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And number one, Frank Hennenlauter. I'm going to say Hennenlauter. I'm probably killing this guy's name. Like, this guy is at home right now, pissed, because I'm butchering his name. Sorry, Frank. Uh, for Basket Case. So, uh, so thank you, guys. and uh, Or thank you, sir. And finally, Warren Cocking said, number three, Robert Hall again for Laid to Rest. Uh, two, Toby Hooper, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And number one, Rob Zombie, House of a Thousand Corpses. All right. So this week... I decided it's going to seem like I'm scraping the bottom. I'm really not. I'm trying to go creative with it. Bear with me, if you will. Uh, it will probably require, I'm not going to lie, I, couldn't, I, I had three on top of my head, but then I was like, let me try a thing, and I actually had to kind of dig deep, and I did my best not to look anything up. I tried to do it all up here, and I found another one, so I brought it over. Uh, top three horror films that have a body of water in the title. And you're thinking, Phantom, what the fuck is wrong with you? Bottom. Bottom. Absolutely not. Uh, for me, at number three, I'm going to go... Now, this is a little obscure. This is the one that I kind of I had to dig down. I was like, shit. And I grabbed it and brought it over. At number three, I'm going with Cabin by the Lake. TV movie of Judd Nelson from like 99, I think. And this is a movie that... Uh, I watched when it first went because when it first debuted, because I was always, uh, it was on USA, and the reason I know it's on USA is because I was a hardcore wrestling fan back in the day, and of course at that time it was on USA. So whenever you know they'd always announce, you know, the movie come out, and it was Captain Captain by the Lake, and I was like, oh. and it was this uh, crazy little thriller. Uh, I mean, it, it definitely more horror than thriller, but basically what it was, this guy who's a serial killer, he would kill these girls, and then he would take them. And he'd go to the bottom of the lake with him. Like he'd sink him. And he had an underwater dead girl garden, if that makes sense. I'm not making this up. Craziness. And I just really dug it. Like it just, it, that movie just kind of resonated with me. And I kind of forgot the title of it and shit. And then it wasn't until like years later, there was this small mom and pop video store. Uh, unfortunately, it's, it's gone now. It has died like the rest of them. But this is like the last one. Like this was the one I was holding out against like all the big corporations. And anyway, they were still selling. Like they had mostly VHS. And that was great. Like, it, this is during, this is like 2006, 7? Maybe even 2008? Like, literally, it was like, it was holding out, and they had predominantly VHSs. It was fucking awesome. Uh, anyway, they had Cabin by the Lake on VHS. Like, oh, shit! I was like, no way! So I got it and ran it and everything. Uh, my number two, Lake Placid. Boom! Uh, I'm a big Creature Feature fan. I, I love Lake Placid. I, I just... That's just one of those movies that, I don't know, people will, like, tend to shit on it because they're taking it way too seriously. I'm like, it's a giant fucking... Like, they know they're doing a giant crocodile movie and they're having fun with it. If anything else, Betty White. It's almost say it's Betty fucking White, so... Lake Placid. And my number one horror film with a body of water in the title, Bad Blood. I literally... I came late to that party. 
But when I fucking watched Bay of Blood, fell in love, and like it's like one of my new favorite movies right now. Like I'm just tearing the shit out of this thing, wearing it out. So, and it's just it's great. If, if you're a huge fan of Friday the 13th Part Two, watch Bay of Blood. You'll be like, holy shit, they ripped that off completely. They did. Uh, so to recap, my top three horror films with a body of water in the title: Count by the Lake, Lake Placid, and Bay of Blood. So what body of water are you going to put in your horror movies? Will we see some uh, something oceans? Something creek? Hmm? It's up to you, because guess what? I want to see what your top threes are. You know how they at this point. Video response. I keep saying video response. I have not gotten a video response in like a decade. Had he been on for a decade. I'm going to say a decade. It feels like a decade. Uh, of course, you guys can leave that comment right down below. Facebook, Twitter, however you got to do it. Top three horror films that have a body of water in its title. Simple as that, guys. Well, until uh, tomorrow.